Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about why the narcissist doesn't want sex. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This is why the narcissist doesn't want sex. Narcissists are mentally ill. They are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance and an unreasonable sense of entitlement. They are attention whores. They behave in a provocative and outrageous manner in order to get people to notice them. But they have an inability to share your feelings and experience because it's all about their needs and desires. It's about feeding their fragile, dysfunctional ego. So they do not care about your well-being. They don't care about how their destructive behavior affects your life. It doesn't mean anything to them because they lack the ability to feel, understand, and resonate with another person's feelings, which results in difficulty forming and maintaining relationships because they have a lack of conscience. So they are preoccupied with their own agendas, often to the exclusion of the needs and concerns of others. They lack moral goodness and blameworthiness of their own conduct, intentions, and character. And the higher they are on the spectrum of destructive narcissism, the more this will be the case. The narcissist doesn't want to have sex with you because they fear emotional intimacy. They are afraid of being vulnerable and hurt because they fear judgment or rejection. They worry that you would not approve of them if they were to let down their walls and show their true selves which is why you will struggle to connect to them because they see emotional intimacy and the feeling of closeness as something to be avoided or overcome, which affects their desire for physical intimacy. So they don't want to have sex because they can't connect with you on a deep emotional level. They lack the emotional capacity to be able to do that, which is why they often react to everyday situations with anger and frustration. They have trouble handling challenging circumstances without falling apart. They worry endlessly about what might go wrong and they often feel depressed. And these feelings are so frequent and intense that they have a significant impact on their daily lives, which is a result of their mental health condition and causes them to be terrified of being vulnerable because they can't even manage simple tasks. While being vulnerable takes a lot of strength and true intimacy requires vulnerability, but they cannot be vulnerable because it would expose their false persona. It would destroy their carefully constructed image of power and superiority, which makes it impossible for them to experience a healthy sexual relationship they can act seductive, tempting, attractive, and enticing, which conveys the impression of emotional and sexual competence. But it's all a facade. They can only simulate an appearance or expression, but it's actually just your brain that is filling in the gaps. Your mind is completing what is missing because they cannot be genuinely vulnerable. They can only manipulate your emotions and they will only seduce you if they can use it to their advantage to further control and influence you. But they cannot be honest and open. They will never put themselves in a situation where they cannot hide anything or deceive anyone. Because if they were to do that, you would instantly realize that they are without the power to control and influence your emotions you would realize that they are inadequate and ineffective because they can't even manage their own emotions, which is why they manipulate yours. 
because otherwise they will be unable to produce an effect on you, which is why they thrive on power and control. When they do want sex, they have to dominate and control the situation, which makes sex feel transactional and one-sided, to where it may cause you to feel bored, disgusted, or sexually repelled. It may make you lose interest, which causes a narcissistic injury. And once you've caused a narcissistic injury, they're not going to feel so eager to have sex with you because their ego will not let it happen. And instead, they will feel a persistent feeling of bitterness and resentment towards you, resulting from this perceived insult or injury. They will be resentfully unwilling to have sex with you because now they're irritated, annoyed, disgruntled, displeased, envious, jealous, and dissatisfied, to where arguments and disagreements now become very serious and unpleasant, and they involve a lot of anger and hatred, which seems disproportionate to the circumstances, but it's because they've lost power and control, because you've bruised their, e their fragile ego. You've caused them to feel less valuable and important to where they now feel that they're not good enough. They feel inadequate, inferior and unworthy, which is why they're now withholding sex from you. Because they're self-centered, they focus primarily on their own wants, needs and desires. Which is why even when they do want sex, your pleasure isn't important. The only thing that matters to them is how they feel so they will treat you like an object instead of a separate person with your own feelings and needs which doesn't stimulate or encourage healthy intimacy because they can't even fulfill reasonable healthy standards and expectations of reciprocal love which is why they will shut down emotionally they will zone out because it's a form of, of dissociation which is convenient to them when their mind is full of stress and anxiety. And it's why they will detach from the current moment to protect their fragile ego. And you may think that the narcissist doesn't want sex, but actually they deliberately withhold sex, often when they want it the most, because they're holding on to a past injury or grudge and they don't have the strength to let it go. Their ego won't let them. Because they feel like if they were to give in to their sexual desires, they would be letting you win. And they do not want to give you the satisfaction. They want to see you defeated. So they will do their best to make sure you don't get whatever they think you want. Even if it hurts them. They will act indifferent. And they may even give you the silent treatment because they don't want to give you the satisfaction of controlling their emotions. So they will control themselves. They will exercise self-restraint. They will suppress or deny their own impulses, emotions and desires because they want to punish you. And they see it as a form of self-empowerment as though they're gaining control of their lives because normally their own sexual appetite would devour them, which is why they will make a conscious decision to exercise restraint. And they may seem unemotional and dispassionate. They may seem like they've got everything under control to the point where it seems forced and unnatural because they don't want you to see them sweat. They don't want you to see that they're under pressure they're stressed and anxious, which is why they deliberately try to appear calm and confident in the hopes that it will make them more attractive. But that's what the problem was. They didn't arouse your interest. They were not pleasing to your senses, which is why they typically go on this rampage of pride, self-satisfaction and self-admiration because their ego took a hit which is why they're now trying to conceal the effects of it. So they will withhold sex. They will withhold attention, validation and affection because they want to punish you. 
they want to manipulate, dominate, and control you. They're hurt, so they want to hurt you. They want to have power over you. They want to be the most important thing to you. And they want to feel superior to you. Which is why they will find excitement and pleasure in your dissatisfaction, discomfort, and frustration. Because they enjoy it. They're savage, inhuman, and barbaric. They're uncivilized, unsophisticated, and primitive. So they find joy in willfully spoiling opportunities and causing pain and suffering. Because they're devoid of humane feelings. They're relentless, merciless, bloodthirsty. They enjoy your pain and distress. And they feel no pity for you. Because focusing on your pain distracts them from their own. It makes them feel better about themselves. Which may be very difficult for you to comprehend. Especially if you are an empath. Because you're not inclined to behave in that way. But they're not wired the way that you are. They don't have your heart, empathy, kindness or compassion. Which is why it's not going to make any sense to you. Because you're trying to understand them from the lens of what you would do or would not do. The narcissist will manipulate and gaslight you. And they will weaponize anything they can against you. They will turn anything into a tool that they can use to exploit for the purpose of attacking you. Just like how crocodiles have evolved sharp teeth for piercing and holding on to their prey. They're predators. They will use anything they can to control you so that they can derive the sustenance that they need from you at your expense. Because they will withhold sex from you in order to get what they want or to punish you until you resent them and you no longer desire intimacy. And then it just reveals their lack of emotional intelligence and how toxic they are. It makes them feel inadequate and it causes them to zone out. Because their mind is overwhelmed with stress and anxiety, which may then cause them to cheat with many sexual partners, involving indiscriminate mingling and association to where they may even develop a sexual addiction. But they will act like everything is normal. And they won't feel any remorse because they're empathy impaired. So they tend to focus on their own needs and neglect other people's emotions, especially those who are closest to them. Which is why they struggle to build and maintain emotional connections. And it can cause them to be overly judgmental and underestimate what people are going through to where they may project their own behavior onto you and they may accuse you of lying or cheating. The narcissist may not want to have sex with you because they're experiencing sexual dysfunction, which affects not only males, but females as well. Female sexual dysfunction is a prevalent problem that afflicts approximately 40% of women. And there are few treatment options. The narcissist may be experiencing sexual dysfunction as a result of their unresolved emotional issues and the stress from all of the chaos and drama they create in their lives and possibly even their alcohol abuse or substance misuse because all of this can contribute to things not working as well as they used to. But they are not going to be honest about it and instead they will make it your fault. They will blame and shame you instead of dealing with their own underlying issues because they have a false sense of pride and, and an overflated ego. They have an arrogant nature and a false sense of superiority so they can never be honest with themselves. It's much easier for them to shift the blame onto you because then they don't have to admit that they're deficient or defective in any way. They will criticize, blame and punish you 
in order to avoid blame and gain an advantage. They will destroy your self-worth and make you feel upset and unhappy to keep the focus off of themselves. Which is always a narcissist's particular technique, manner and style. No matter who they harm in the process. But their issues are not your issues. You are not to blame for things that they do not want to deal with. Things that are outright causing the problem. But you must also recognise that narcissists do not change. You must accept reality for what it is. Because being around these narcissists is emotionally exhausting. They will cause you confusion, disorder and uncertainty. Which will leave you feeling drained and depleted. As well as fearful and insecure. Which is why you must prioritise self-care. To rebuild your emotional strength. So that you can make the, the, the decisions you need to make. In favour of a better life for yourself. Which will rebuild your self-esteem. It will rebuild your self-worth. By reconnecting you with your own desires and needs. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.